What's up? Jeremy Kling, War Machine here. Venom Inc's playing Chicago tonight. We're doing Riot Fest Presents here at Cobra Lounge. It's gonna be banging. Uh, let me start right here with my drums. I got my custom white maple D-Drum Dio's drum set. It's all maple, this thing sounds amazing. The kick has big fat tones to it. Toms are big and fat, great stuff. We got a 10 inch, we got a 12 inch, and we got a 16 and my kicks are 22 by 20. So you can see they're a little bit longer than like a normal kick drum. They got a nice deep punch. Here, I'll give you a, a preview. It probably sounds like trash, but who cares, you know? <laughs> so for heads, I have Evans E-Mads. I have Evans everywhere. Best company ever, they take such good care of me. I have Evans E-Mads on the kicks. On the snare, I just have a UV-1. And of course I got my Evans, like uh, the gels, I don't know the exact name, but uh, you know, those are great, good for dampening. And all the way around on the batter side, I have Evans Red Hydraulics. Uh, I did this so they match the front of my kick drum heads. Uh, so everything has a real cool sleek white and red and black look. Like uh, I even have these SIM pads. I got these white SIM pads. Some of them have the name, but they've kind of been rubbed off. Oh, there we go product placement but it's real cool because everything matches and looks uh looks pretty elegant if you ask me this snare drum is new to me so it is a uh, let's see if i can pull this sideways it's a 14 by 7 steel snare by d drum and this thing is incredible it weighs about as much as a vw bus but it sounds like a VW bus when I play it, so it's pretty awesome. These are a little old school for D-Drum, and they look a little ratty because they I've had them for like almost 15 years now, but these are their Deca Bonds that they sell. They actually only sell the black ones now, so these clear ones I think are extinct, so uh, you know, there we are. This is kind of like a little bit of a history here. So these are great though. Nice big Tom rolls, you know, like all of us want to be Tommy Aldridge from the 80s, so here we are. That's my option right there. Symbols. So, I'm a Peisty and Dorsey, and uh, let me walk you through every single one that I got here. I have a Peisty Dark Crisp High Hats, and uh, it's their signature line. These things sound fantastic. Uh, I love them. They're nice and bright and crisp. So for crashes, I have a 17-inch 900 series, and I have an 18-inch 900 series. For my ride, I have the, uh, some of you guys who are familiar with Peisty Rude uh, know that the Rain Ride uh, Slayer is a 22-inch power ride. But I have the 20-inch version, so it's a little bit smaller, so I can tuck it in. As you can see, I have a pretty tight setup. Uh, this thing sounds great. Nice bell, nice voicing, everything sounds excellent. Uh, my secondary hi-hat set is Peisty Roots, just a set of 14s. And then I have a Novo China over here to my far right. Sometimes I have another China over here on my left, but uh, I kept this a little more simple, a little more punk rock for this run. So, yeah. For sticks, these are pretty beat up because I used them. I have my custom Vic Firth Extreme 5As. Uh, and with Vic Grip, but I like to reuse my Vic Grip because I don't know it, it kind of starts to get like a real like you rub the finish off and it has a Has a bit of a texture there. So when I'm playing, you know, it's like an old sandwich that your mom made you I guess <laughs> I'm a huge fan of chain drive pedals. They give you like a nice throw a nice slap so I I've played Iron Cobra pedals for I don't know. I'm 41. I, my first set of pedals was I was 16 years old. They were a set of Iron Cobras, so I just kind of uh, stuck with them. I've done for years. I switched over to Axis, and I played uh, I played Tricks for a while, but I just always fall back to these Iron Cobras. And so when I tour, I actually don't even travel with my pedals overseas. I just uh, I show up, and they have Iron Cobras for me. I do a little bit of adjustment, and boom, they're exactly the same everywhere I go. They're just a very, very consistent pedal, so super support that company right there. In-ears, these are very important, so I use Jerry Harvey, and these are the Rock Sands. I have custom molded in-ears, and uh, they have 12 drivers, and as you can see, these things are big, thick jokers, crazy. And they sound fantastic. Really, uh, really clean, pristine audio there. The most important part of my whole drum set is Justin. So my fan is, it's my number one fan. And you can see he's even, he has a, his own name tag. It's the most important thing. And this is it. Keeps me cool and keeps me from not dying when I'm, uh, you know, going 100 miles an hour. So if you want to come to any gigs, go to Google, type our band name in, pop on over, say what's up, make sure you, uh, 
make sure you uh, rage and break your neck. <laughs>